Danny Murphy on <laughs> cue Everton we hear uh, are exploring exploring a potential loan move uh, for Manchester City's midfielder Calvin Phillips I mean would Everton represent last chance territory for Phillips if this happens um I don't know about last chance. What I would say, if you well, were to, West Ham was a disaster. If you then. were to say to me, pick somebody who you think would get the best out of him, I should be someone I'd say, yeah. You know, work in a disciplined structure, get him fit, strong, give him belief and confidence in himself, and actually makes perfect sense in a financial because Everton are going to have to sell a few. If they can get half decent money for either Idris Gay or Anana, and then bring Phillips in on loan, win win. Yeah, because Phillips is a good footballer. He's intelligent. He's got a bit about him. He's got a bit of everything. He's all right. He's he's people are just looking but, at. But them. what's happened to him? He seems to yeah, be a confident. shadow of the boy that we saw at Leeds. Confidence has drained. He's, from a, he's him. a gem of a, a yeah. lad as well. I've met him. But the 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 best way, the only way really to get your confidence back is by playing. But to play well, you've got to be fit. And you've got to be given a, a a platform which is a manager who believes in you and doesn't. At West Ham, a bad game, he was back out. Bad half, he was back out. I'm not blaming Moyes. Moyes was under pressure and he had to get some results. He had pressure on himself, so it was maybe not the right move for him. Yeah. But Sean Dyche got credit in the bank at Evan. You know, he's kept them up. He's had a good season with all that's gone on. Yes, they're going to have to sell a few, but ultimately, I think it would work perfectly in answer to your question, yeah. Yeah. I think it'd be a really good move for him. Meanwhile, at Tottenham, we're delighted to announce an agreement for Timo Werner to rejoin us on loan from Leipzig. Um, is that going to get the pulses racing at Tottenham? Well, Simon and I actually... We're both a little bit perplexed and shocked by this one. He, he hasn't set the world alight, far from it. My only thinking is that they must be thinking of bringing a big one in up top and having him as more backup because they've got Brennan Johnson there on the right who's got he's got to develop, he's got to produce a bit more, he's got potential, he's got talent, but they, they've been mixing him up on the right with Kulisevsky. I think Son's best on the left, personally. And that would mean Werner on the bench. But if he's thinking of keeping the same front line and having Son and Richarlison as your strikers and having Werner on the left, I don't think Tottenham fans are going to be too excited by that. I can just... Maybe... I mean, Daniel's cute. It's going to be a reasonably, relatively cheap deal to have an international player in your ranks as backup. I can't see him starting in his in his best team. Well, not only that, they've got an option, Simon, to make the deal permanent. But so they're serious. Billion, they? They're yeah. serious about him, aren't they? Well, they've got an option for. I mean, I mean, in football, in Premier League terms, eight and a half million pounds is two yeah. and six, isn't it? Mm. So, I mean, I looked at it and I did, my first reaction was, I mean, he's an honest player. He'll give you his best. Yeah. But he's a speedboat about a brain. You know, he doesn't achieve outcomes that once upon a time when he came to Chelsea, he came in with his reputation of being a goal scorer, um, and obviously had achieved that. But we saw what he was like at Chelsea. I don't see any material improvements at He is Tottenham. what he is. He is what he is. Mm. And to me, looking at that, I looked at it and thought, well, Brennan Johnson is a work in progress. And there's parts about Brennan Johnson that worry me that he's never going to be the full, the full package because there's a composure that top players have and be able to stop themselves in a moment and be able to get it out of their feet. And he doesn't appear to have that. He always appears to be in a hurry. We'll see if they can develop. But, yeah. but they, they've, they've got Brennan Johnson on one side. They've got, you know... Uh, Timo Werner on the other and neither one of them tell me that Tottenham are going to progress uh, where Poster Coglu tells us he wants to go so re-signing Timo Werner must if it's anything more than a squad player then I don't know what it's sending a message out to, from A to Poster Coglu and B to the fans I mean Ange keeps telling us he's a winner and he is we saw that at Celtic he wants to be a winner at Tottenham do you think their signings Danny will be scrutinised maybe that bit more than some other clubs well, yeah, let's give it balance. They've made a couple of brilliant signings. So the recruitment's not all bad. Um, Van der Ven's been sensational. Yeah. Um, I, th I think he's he's done really, really well. Romero's a good player. Romero's the one, isn't he? Yeah, Udogi. Yeah. Arguably yeah. been the best left back in yeah. the country. I mean, yeah. he come from nowhere. Someone's doing the right things there. So you're going to have the odd one that's a more sensible, safe squad bear. I, I, look, the way Tottenham are talking and their ambition and the manager, they're not getting Werner for another season to start can't be ok because they won't break in the top four with the front three that they finish the season with Jim White and Simon Jordan Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport